Welcome, royal enthusiasts. Have you ever wondered what the future holds for the British monarchy? Today, we're diving into the intriguing dynamics surrounding King Charles as he faces a somewhat unconventional start to 2024, the burning question on everyone's mind, should King Charles abdicate the throne? Rumors and speculations are swirling, with calls for Charles to follow in the footsteps of Queen Margaret II of Denmark and pass the crown to Prince William. It's not just your average gossip, even traditionally royalist outlets like The Guardian are weighing in. In a compelling op-ed titled, King Charles Should Follow Denmark's Example and Tell Us When He'll Abdicate, the conversation is heating up. But that's not all. The Daily Mail has brought an exclusive scoop to light, featuring insights from royal author Phil Dampier. Dampier suggests that, considering the potential challenges to King Charles's health or the perfect timing to pass the torch to the younger generation, an abdication might not be far-fetched. Amidst these whispers, the Daily Beast reports a brewing tension between Prince William and King Charles, hinting at a desire for more control from the younger heir. Former Buckingham Palace staff members share their perspectives, describing a potential clash of wills, as Charles is known for his autonomy, while William seeks a more hands-on approach. I am sure they will butt heads, as Charles is allergic to anyone telling him what to do, and William is not exactly famed for his subtlety, explains a former Buckingham Palace staffer. However, this rivalry is seen as productive rather than destructive, with William respecting his father's role as the head of the firm. Adding another layer to the narrative, a source who has worked for both royals reveals differences in work culture. While William and Kate might offer compassionate gestures like granting two weeks off for a personal loss, Charles's office exudes a more workaholic vibe. As we delve into this captivating royal drama, the question remains, what will unfold in the monarchy's future? Do you think King Charles should abdicate or should tradition prevail? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's spark a lively discussion on the fate of the British crown.